You're live? Okay. Hello, everybody. This is Henry at uh, Spring Arts Studio. Uh, we're going to do a demo of uh, dry mounting. Okay, what we need are uh, a padding of uh, denim clothes. You can use any sheeting, cotton sheeting, if you, if you like, like a pillow case or something like that. Uh, this is the original painting, and it was uh, created um, this uh, afternoon in a workshop with uh, Terry. Uh, thanks, Terry, for collecting this. Um, so I'm going to mount for Terry so she can frame it. Uh, then the other material is uh, this backing paper is made of uh, cotton. It's a, a high wall. It has a shiny side on the back and it has some texture on the front. So it will hold the silicone paper. Okay, maybe some paper weights can pass me some paper weights there on the Yeah, let me, uh, you, 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 we need to, to center it. Can you just measure with your, your eye? So we can also measure it. Because we try to uh, create a, like a matte effect. You don't have to do this if you use matte, right? So because the backing paper is bigger, much bigger. So we can use a temporary matte. Do you think it's good enough? Just to center it. I think that'd be fine. Okay, yeah. You can so trim it as needed. Three inch on each side, that's about it. Okay. Yeah, you can trim it uh, in the uh, method. You, you don't need really to show this this back, back in case. So this is what uh, this, uh, the silicone paper comes with a uh, heat uh, at his heat sensitive adhesive film that is facing the backing paper. The first step is to put this like a lamination on the on the back on, on the surface of the backing paper with the iron. This set to 180 Fahrenheit is about the silk. Let me see if it's hot enough. Yeah, silk and the wall between the range, so it will activate activate the silicone. Okay, and then uh, let it cool a little bit. And you will release that paper. We call it release paper. Comes with the silicone. The release paper is a shiny side that will not stick on the film. So that release the film onto the backing paper. If you look at this at the angle, you should be able to see the, the silicone film lies on the surface of the Backing paper, okay. Let me see if it did. Okay, let me focus a little bit closer. Sorry for the shake. Okay, I'm going to put this original painting on top of this uh, silicone adhesive. It should be same size or a little bit smaller. Uh, you know, bigger, maybe, but more or less, same size. And I put this release paper back on top of the painting to protect it from uh, dust, from the iron, you know. Now I reactivate the adhesive underneath. 
Do I have to spray any water? I don't think so in this case because number one, this is a sized paper, means non-absorbent. Um, you, it, it might help if it has serious wrinkles, and you should do that without the silicone. So you can iron the original first with some moisture to make it flat okay. if necessary. Since we don't have any visible wrinkle, I just maybe doing this would be enough. <laughs> yeah, just you know, press it with my palm, and then I I iron directly. Where's yeah, you don't want to, because I already positioned it uh, with my first stroke from the center. Now I stroke out from the uh, center out. You don't have to press that hard, but I want to keep the, the iron level, so it will uh, cover as much space as possible under, under it. You, you see the, if the film is larger than the painting, you, you might have thickness on the iron. That's why we need to protect, we need to put this sheet on top of it, okay? We will not stick. Take a quick look. You see the color is enhanced, even my mistake. But uh, <laughs> I wish you don't care. I hope, yeah, I think that just adds the chi to it. You know, it's just like a yeah, a trace trace of a, a bird. It just adds nice touch to it. You will see the process uh, of seeing this uh, online later uh, when I upload it. We try to uh, broadcast the live, but some technical uh, problem we, we had, we couldn't do that. We'll make it up. So you have a chance to see how I did this painting after Liu, my favorite artist. So this is, uh, this is it. It's, it's, it's back. And you just make sure there's no bubble. I'll just go over it one more time. So it, one, one minute in average on every spot. So that would make sure. I don't really uh, press that much, just use the heat to activate. No. Okay, if, if something wrong pops up, you, you, uh, you can still fix it. Uh, with more iron, like you know, some edge I can see. It's not um, so that may happen when you draw it, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you don't see it until you get home, but don't worry, you can iron it. I'll give you this protection sheet. Okay. okay this, this one goes with that. Okay, let me take a picture before you take it, and thank you again for Terry for um, collecting this this painting, and if you like, uh, I have more demos on sample paintings from my previous work uh, on the internet. You can go take a look, and some of them are free gifts when you purchase the merchandise from us. Uh, this backing paper, silicone release paper, are available on our website. And I, I do have a discount code to share with you today, I always forget. Got the, now, if you enter the code YouTuber with a capital Y and capital T and the R in the end, YouTube plus R, capital Y and capital T, you get 10% on order of uh, 50 or more. Okay, thanks, YouTubers, and uh, see you next time. And let me take a picture before we.